as the baby is crawling, the hands are stopping on the carpet and the torso and the legs are sliding along the carpet. What ends up happening is that those contacts between the, the infant and the carpet generate different removal forces that act on these deposited particles. So, so for this study, we used a simplified robotic crawling infant and we had that robot crawl across carpets in an environmental chamber. And then we looked at how much dust and microbes came off the carpet due to this crawling motion. We wanted to compare an infant's exposure with that of an adult that walks across the carpet. And then use all this experimental data to predict where the particles deposit in the respiratory system. Laser induced fluorescence technology allow us to detect the fluorophores in the biological particles such as bacteria, fungal spores, and pollens. One major finding from the study is that infants are exposed to significant concentrations of resuspended biological particles. And this is because the infant is so close to the floor. They really create this very concentrated cloud of microbes around themselves as they crawl. And the only way to really capture that is to do these very controlled experiments where you sample at that breathing zone location. Also, we found that for an infant, a greater fraction of those biological particles that come off from the dust deposit in the lower airways of the respiratory system. We care about where they deposit because that's where they interact with the lung cells, uh, potential colonization sites of these bacteria and fungi. One takeaway from our research is that parents should be aware that their children are exposed to microbes and allergens as they crawl across the carpet. As to the health effects of exposure to these microbes, I think a lot of the research suggests that there can be both adverse effects and protective effects.